The next is uh, UW35 finish longitudinal and circumferential joints. So a stringent requirement again on the category A joint is talking about the maximum weld reinforcement. If there's a two weld re reinforcement in here, it's going to cause a stress concentration at the weld toe and it's not a good thing. So we having a requirement by UW35. Again, we having a stringent requirement for category A joint rather than category B joint. As you can see in the screen, example again, wall thickness is 3.25 inch. For long joint, maximum allowed is 0.156 inch. And for circumferential joint, is maximum allowed is 0.25 inch. And you can see, right, is you having a very lenient uh, criteria for circumferential joint because it is bears half a stress of the longitudinal joint. Reduction in thickness lesser of the 132 inch or 10 percent, whichever is less. So if you are welding in here and by the heat of the welding make some reduction of the wall thickness, which is named undercut or any other defect uh, that might cause during the welding or any other process, then uh, we have the acceptance criteria in here. It says 10 percent of the wall thickness or 132 inch or 0.8 millimeter, whichever is less is the maximum depth of you know reduction in thickness so we might they reduce the thickness at the one point like this amount caused by the undercut and then we can measure with the gauge how much we reduce the wall thickness at here and then to see uh, and compare with this value and decide to see if we need to repair this or you know by the build up or it is acceptable just we need just a little bit blended and to be smooth this is another requirement. UW37.